Welcome back to Game Room Theater, everyone. In this video, I'd like to share with you how I use my mini computers from Geekom to automate and set up a lot of my devices, along with using one as a daily and for entertainment as well. Stay tuned, guys. And here it is, the Geekom Mini IT8, and it runs on the 8th gen Intel Core i5. I'll be going through the features and specs on this shortly. Okay, first off, let's go ahead and unbox this and see initial impressions as I hold this in my hands. Wow, it is extremely light and much smaller than I anticipated. And taking the plastic off of anything new is very therapeutic for me, so I deliberately left the sound in. But look at this, very, very nice. All right, let's take a closer look at this. In the front, you've got the power button, an audio jack, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and a USB-C data port. Meanwhile, on the side, you've got a lot of venting for heat and an SD card slot. And around the back, you've got another USB-C data port, HDMI, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, Ethernet, and a mini display port along with the socket for the power adapter. The last side has more vents for cooling and a security lock. So one more time, just for the sake of perspective, let me put this in the palm of my hand. As you can see, this is very small and does not weigh a whole lot either. So here's everything that you get in the box. Obviously the tiny PC itself, along with the pouch or carrying case, a power brick, an HDMI cable, and a mounting plate along with its corresponding screws, so you can attach this to the back of a monitor, for example. Okay, this is an extension to my game room almost. It's my office upstairs, and I've got my PC set up here. The IT8 is all ready to go, and I did want to remind you guys that it does support 4K at 60 frames per second, and it allows up to four displays to be connected to it. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in as well. Also do note that this does allow for significant upgradability. You know, you can easily open this up and swap out the hard drive, RAM, etc. And it does most importantly actually come with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed. So you don't have to go out and buy your own OS. Also, it does come with very fast RAM. It's DDR4 and I've got 16 gigabytes in this particular one and 512 gigabyte hard drive. By the way, I did want to add that for, for whatever reason you need to run this 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can absolutely do that. It's been stress tested to allow for that. So for the last several days, I've been using this as a daily driver. I've actually been doing my work on this full time. I've been surfing. I've been using this for entertainment purposes, such as watching videos and believe it or not casual gaming as well and it's been an absolute non-issue so absolutely fine as a daily driver i do have several more it8 so i've got one running inside my mini jumbotron because it does output to four screens and my digital signage here that i'm just pointing at that is actually connected to a mini air 11 i didn't need anything serious i do have another it8 that i've got running in one of the arcades to allow for several thousand games uh, to be loaded at the same time. And I have another IT8, and keep in mind, because I can output to four screens, I just have one IT8 that's connected to those two, and then there's there's two more in the theater room. Um, I have a mini, another Mini Air 11 that's connected to my uh, uh, digital scoreboard that you just saw there. And I've got it completely automated. You can watch that video from last year. And then this digital signage is also connected to the same IT8 that's connected to the two screens that are outside. So all four are now connected to just this little tiny box and it runs all of those four screens in an automated way absolutely beautifully. So guys, just keep in mind that, you know, to do, to do this in a cost-effective way, determine what you specifically need. If it's gonna be a multi-purpose device, then you get better specs. If it's just gonna be for digital signage, then I highly recommend their, their cheaper models, uh, which are the Mini Air 11. 
I hope you enjoyed this review of the IT8 and get a chance to check out Geekom for your tiny PC processing needs. I'll have links in the description, especially if you want a Windows-based system with minimal coding to automate your devices like I have. Lastly, please do subscribe as I'll be sharing more DIY and tech reviews in the near future. Take care, guys.